So week five of the English Premier League is done and dusted. Here are the results. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Army Ed's son. Hope you're all well. So this is week five, the results, a review of the games. And well, first of all, my predictions were totally way off. Uh, I was quite confident going into week five of uh, the results, not necessarily the score lines, but the results. But I actually did a quick calculation. I, I was on 30%, which is not really good enough, really. Uh, so three out of 10 games I got right. Uh, a couple of scores I got absolutely right. But apart from that, it was a bit of a, a well, a bit of a bad week for me. So let's just get into the First game of the weekend, the 12.30 kickoff on Saturday, West Ham versus Chelsea. I was predicting one all, and we know it ended up in a 3-0 defeat to Chelsea. They wiped the floor of West Ham pretty much. Uh, it was a pretty poor display from West Ham. Lots of questions being asked. But hey, Chelsea just go from strength to strength. Now, I'm not saying Chelsea are flattering to deceive or anything like that, but West Ham made it really easy for them as well. So a lot of work to do for West Ham. And, well, Chelsea just keep on marching on, don't they? So that leaves Chelsea in fifth on 10 points and West Ham United in 14th with four points. OK, next game, Aston Villa 3-1 against Wolves. I predicted this absolutely right, 3-1 as well. Wolves took the lead uh, and Aston Villa came back and, well, just uh, a another triumphant display from them. Wolves are going to be feeling hard done by Gary O'Neill the manager is going to come under increasing pressure now so not good for them but fantastic for Aston Villa once again Aston Villa now up to third on 12 points and Wolves just sitting at the bottom of the table on a solitary point okay next we have Fulham against Newcastle uh, I was predicting a 2-1 win for Newcastle I thought they had some goals in them but I wasn't underestimating Fulham as well and guess what Fulham came away with a 3-1 win as well totally convincing display really bossed the game and yeah they both teams had chances but Fulham came away with a three points and very well deserved two Fulham up to ninth in eight points and Newcastle sitting pretty in six with 10 points next Leicester against Everton I was predicting a Leicester 2-1 win it ended up a one-all draw again Everton took the lead uh, they were holding that lead for quite a while and then Leicester managed to equalize as well so again at least Everton are scoring goals at least they're not losing now they've got a point so this could be the start of some kind of momentum for Everton you, they would hope of course uh, but Leicester yeah they could kind of feel they should do a little bit uh, better especially especially at home, and especially against a struggling Everton as well. Leicester now in 15th on three points, and Everton 19 on one point. Now next, Liverpool at home to Bournemouth. I predicted 3-0, and it was indeed a 3-0 win for Liverpool. Another emphatic uh, display from them, especially after their midweek uh, outing in Milan. So they did really, really well here. And yeah, Bournemouth are struggling slightly, but Liverpool just keep on marching on. Liverpool now in second on 12 points, and Bournemouth now in 13th on five points okay the next game Southampton at home to Ipswich Town I was predicting an Ipswich Town 1-0 win but I think I was also saying this could easily be a draw as well I thought it was going to be a tight affair and it ended up being a one all draw so both teams coming away with some points there and a well-deserved point you would say for Ipswich Town being the the uh, newbies to the Premier League of course Southampton would come up as well but they've got more recent experience in the Premier League Ipswich Town just sitting above relegation zone in 17th on three points and South Southampton just one below them, an 18th on one point. Now the next game, Spurs at home to Brentford. I was predicting a 2-1 away win for Brentford based on their, their current form or their recent form. But no, Spurs proved me wrong again. They come away with a 3-1 win and quite a convincing win at that. So Tottenham now in 10th on 7 points and Brentford 12th on 6 points. And now for the evening kickoff on Saturday, uh, Crystal Palace at home to Manchester United. I was predicting an away win for Manchester United based on their last two results and the emphatic win they got in midweek. Uh, I thought there might be some goals in there. I was predicting a 3-1 away win for Manchester United, but it ended up being a 0-0 draw. They sort of cancelled each other out. So... Uh, not good for either team, really. So uh, Manchester United, well, they probably feel that they were they they should have done better, and uh, yeah, they they could have done better. They they went close quite a few times as well. But Crystal Palace hung in there, and they came away with a draw. So well done to them. Manchester United now in eleventh on seven points. Crystal Palace in sixteenth on three points. Okay, to the Sunday fixtures. First of all, Brighton at home to Nottingham Forest. I thought there would be goals in this game. I thought these two would be quite evenly matched. I went for a two-all draw, and guess what? I got that one right uh, finally I get a result absolutely right so it was indeed a two all draw on uh, on Sunday for for both teams and uh, yeah it was it's a great game to watch really entertaining as well so well done 
welcome both teams for putting on uh, some entertainment as well. And both teams keep on marching on. Brighton now sitting in seventh on nine points. And just below, Nottingham Forest in eighth on nine points as well. But the game of the weekend, as we know, on Sunday afternoon, the uh, 4.30 kickoff was Manchester City at home to Arsenal. And Manchester City took the lead. Who else by uh, Erling Haaland? But then Arsenal came back and were leading 2-1 for most of the game. They got the send-off uh, before half-time. They spent the whole... Second half, pretty much uh, down to 10 men and also back to the wall. Uh, parking the bus, pretty much. Six at the back, three in the middle. And it was just, you know, they almost held on. But then Man City equalised just uh, with John Stones uh, just in a few minutes added on as well. Only seconds to spare. So Manchester City got a point. Arsenal probably feel aggrieved that they just couldn't hold on to the point. But again, it wasn't really the result that was coming into question. Once again, it was a question of refereeing decisions and inconsistency in these refereeing decisions as well. And uh, why uh, why an Arsenal player was sent off, but a Manchester City player wasn't sent off for doing something similar as well. Again, a lot to answer for the referees, in, in my opinion. You know, if you're going to go by the book in some games, you've got to go by the book on all games. Otherwise, it is a complete farce as well. But uh, let us know your thoughts on that. So with that result, Manchester City now sitting pretty at the top of the table on 13 points and Arsenal now in fourth position on 11 points. So overall, a great weekend of football again. Some cracking games, some high scoring games as well. Lots of goals, plenty of goals in uh, lots of games. Uh, but my predictions are absolutely woeful, just like my prediction on the boxing as well. Pretty woeful there as well. Uh, but as I say, 30% on predictions, not really good enough. Aim to do better in the next round. So I'll catch you again in the next video very very soon if you don't want to do here don't forget to like and share the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for future videos till on now